Okay, this is a story I had to read. It's from Tell Me Pastor. And this woman who clearly has some mental issues claims that her, long, her deceased boyfriend is still... Um, I don't know. It's still, um, it has come back um, from the dead and is still having a relationship with her. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's really some from a TV show or movie, obviously. Your parents have a problem that I'd like to tell about. I'm in my 40s. I used to live with a man, but he died. But although he's dead, he's not leaving me alone. He comes to my house almost every weekend. Sometimes when I turn off the light in my bedroom, I can feel his presence. I can smell him. The per worst part is when I fall asleep. Yeah, he... He and I, uh, he still gets intimate with me. And yeah, that's just something. Yeah, according to her, of course. One of my friends told me that I should go and look after myself. He took me to a certain man who said, some people see he's an obia man. He told me that my first visit would cost $25,000. I was going to need three baths. And yeah, and okay, and her really actually going along with it. Yeah, okay then. The baths would cost me $10,000 each. He told me that this man would not stop coming to house until I did the full course. I mean, she doesn't go to a pastor or some other kind of person who's probably clearly not going to rip, rip her off. But again, we couldn't get the story if she actually did the more logical and common sense approach. When I told my friend what to say, he said that if I wanted to get rid of this man who wouldn't leave me alone, I would have to do what the old man said. And basically, she, and again, I was predicted she, um, she, um, she fell for the trick bag. When I went back, he told me that uh, that. Yeah, he just told her to do what I did. Okay, and then when he she did what he's asked, he asked um um as um did what he asked. Um, then the friend asked, okay, was this guy taking advantage of you sexually or not? All right. Okay, and um and and then. And then was was her this and what was this little ex silly exercise of any use? Apparently not, because apparently the ghost of her dead boyfriend comes, uh, comes. Okay, and then she's just going around telling the pastor, and the pastor's just, I'm sure his face palming and said, "Yeah, if I wasn't doing this, I would pay, obviously pay to like redo these columns. I would just pr pretty much, I pretty much want to just tell this woman how much of an idiot she is." she is and the thing is that she should have um, done some what, um, what she said is a go to a pastor or a priest alright uh, and he basically said okay yeah this is, there's no such things as ghost man okay you need, obviously you need some psychiatric help and not this not enough fun for some sneak oil salesman who who obviously is getting his jaws off seeing you without your clothes well, close and 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 get to some of your money, but yeah, this was an interesting story. I mean, like it just well, and again, I'll say that Hollywood and all these other media, whole uh, media entities around the world should just read Jamaican news because the amount of story ideas that they could get from reading stuff like this is just invaluable. But yeah, it's an interesting story. I mean, yeah, this one is clearly gullible, but yeah. Uh, but this was a very interesting t story. I mean, obviously she needs to get help and probably just needs to go to a pastor or someone who's not going to rip her off in order to deal with this so-called ghost. And that's just my take. So it's for Stay to Jamaican the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages, Miles Goose and Perrin. Miles Productions and Thoughts and Miles. All right.